Welcome everyone, my name is Chef Yochanan Lambiassi and I'm so excited to be in Israel on the eve of Passover. And uh, I thought to myself, when people usually think about Pesach food, they usually think boring. Like, there's nothing to eat, seven days, my tummy's rumbling, but you can't be so far away from the truth, guys. We're living in the 21st century. We've got crazy amounts of food out there. And I thought, I really wanna show you how amazing Passover food can be, and we're gonna go Mexican today. So the first thing that comes to mind with Mexican food is Haroset, but I'm gonna make you guac haroset. Really easy, all I did was, was I brought in my blender and I'm gonna add the following ingredients one by one. I've got here some pecans over here. I've got some lovely white raisins. I've got some apricots. I've got some really luscious fresh prunes. I've got some really wonderful oranges. And I've got not to forget for our guac haroset, I've got our avocados. And I'm just gonna add that bit by bit Put it into my blender, and then when it's ready, I've got my wonderful, wonderful guacarosa. I'm just gonna give this a little try. Amazing, amazing. I've got the flavor of the avocado, all blended together with a little bit of zest of the oranges and the tanginess of the dried fruit. It is an absolute amazing, Guacarosa. I've got another one for you, and this is all the way from Spain. This is an apple, orange, ginger, and mint haroset. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take a bowl, I'm gonna put my apples into the bowl that have been marinated in a little bit of lemon juice. Then I'm gonna add some nice orange marmalade, freshly chopped ginger, some freshly chopped mint. Then to finish it all up, I'm gonna slowly pour in my red wine, mix it together, and I've got the great, great Spanish haroset. Okay, everyone, now I'm gonna make you a really, really wonderful and exciting dish. It is braised lamb with date honey and different types of spices, and it's going to be put into a wrap. Now, what sort of wrap do you ask it's going to be? It's going to be a matzah wrap. We all know about this matzah. This is a machine-baked matzah, but the most authentic matzah that we can say, this really could be it, is this one. This is a Yemenite soft matzah. Same thing, 18 minutes, all matzahs have to be made within 18 minutes, but this is the closest thing that we're going to get to an authentic matzah. So what do you need for this recipe? I've got one and a half kilos of shoulder of lamb, and I've got all of my ingredients that I need for my marinades. We've got some olive oil, date honey, lemon juice. We've got a nice handful of fresh mint leaves. We've got some cumin, fresh garlic finely chopped, and a little bit of kosher salt. All you have to do, put it into the bowl, mix it around, put it on top of the lamb, close the lamb up, and then in the oven, three hours at 160 degrees. Okay, um, lamb is braised for three hours. I've got my Yemenite uh, matzah here, the soft one that's like a burrito, and I've got my guaca roasted. I'm ready to start cutting this and making it. Mmm. But wait a minute. This is what the saves is all about. Do you really want to hear the real recipe that you don't want to miss? The whole Seder is really about the Korban Pesach, the Passover offering. The Jewish people are commanded to roast a lamb and bring it as a Passover offering to the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. This is the eternal covenant to be fulfilled in every generation, guys, today as well. When we conclude the Seder with the words Shana Haba Yerushalayim or next year in Jerusalem, we mean may we merit to bring the Passover offering but to learn more about the Korban Pesach, visit templeinstitute.org. Hard kosher Pesach Vesameach, guys. Enjoy.